people who are 40 plus and happy with their life. What is your advice to people in their 20s? I hesitate to give advice, being unqualified to do so. Instead, here are some points that may or may not be worthy of consideration. 1. Time is very short, and as you get older it speeds up more and more. 2. Time is more important than money. In theory, you could end up a billionaire, but no one is a time billionaire. Rich or poor you're going to get maybe 100 years at the absolute max, and probably less than that. 3. There will be several versions of you as you walk your path, be one version that kind of colors all the other versions. This version you could call the real you, it pays to spend time figuring out who that real you is. 4. You will have to deal with people. Learn how to leave them happy to have been in your presence, and you will not lack for friends and loved ones. 5. Speaking of loved ones, just because someone is a blood relative, it doesn't mean they're worth anything. If your parent, sibling, or child is a complete dummy unworthy of your attention, don't waste further time on them. 6. Find something you love to do, and do that. Do it every day. It doesn't matter if you make money at it, or get recognition because of it. Do it like Henry Darger did his writing and drawing, and like Vivian Myra did her photography. Do good work. It is its own reward. 7. I am a geezer, 64 years old. It does not have to suck being old, I think it's great, for many reasons. If you're ever in my town, drop by and get on my lawn. Don't fall for the trap that your life needs to be one long narrative that you should be building. Life is best when it's a bunch of happy moments that just happen to be connected. Don't try to make your life into a novel, make it a book of poems. Chris Rock said it best, now, people tell you life is short. No, it's not. Life is lewing. Especially if you make the wrong decisions. Edit, the point is, you've got time. Don't waste yourself trying to do it all now. It's never too late to start again. All in my 20s I thought I couldn't just restart my career or dump a useless boyfriend or go back to school because I was already on a certain trajectory. Made my choices now I got to make the best of it. That's total lies. You have no idea how incredibly young you are and how much time you have to do whatever you want to do. When I figured this out, I found the man of my dreams, had a kid in my late late 30s, dropped my entire career in my late 40s and starting a new one at 50 and it's awesome. Edit. Oh my. I had no idea my post would be so inspirational or that so many people needed to read it. Thank you everyone for the kind words and updates and awards. I'm so excited for everyone taking a leap into the great unknown. You got this. And if you are sad or upset or frustrated with life that's okay too. You have time and it will pass. You have no idea what comes next and you have so much time to explore. I am still figuring things out. When I was in college, I had the chance to go to Europe but I passed because I had to work at a warehouse. I picked staying at a part-time warehouse job overseeing the world. When I finally went abroad in my 30s, it changed my perspective about everything and everyone. Go to another country that is far away and different from your own. I'm 46, and here's what I know. One money is important but it's not the end all be all. It will not listen to your problems or hug you when you need it to watch your weight, your blood pressure, and do not smoke 75% of my patients that have the most serious diagnosis have at least one of these factors. 3. Comparison will rob you of joy. Be happy for others, but don't feel you need to be like them. 4. Let go of the little things. Stress will kill you. 5. Chase your dreams. Life goes by so fast. You don't want to be 80 years old and regretting not traveling, pursuing your passion, etc. 6. You cannot change someone. Whether a friend or a partner, their faults will not get better and you cannot rescue them. Don't waste your life on toxic people. 7. Make a point of performing kind acts for others. It will greatly enrich your life. Now, go get your life. Edit. Thanks for the award, stranger. It's my first. Maintain your friendships. In 20 years you will be so grateful for those people who saw you through marriages, children, illness and health. People who will go for a trip with you, love your kids, remember you as a young person. Friends are essential but they require work. 
Don't be alone just because you don't want to be the person who reaches out to others. Relax and don't get overly angry. While others talk about material things or experiences the real lesson is to accept that things won't always go the way you want them to and that's okay. Didn't marry your perfect spouse? That person doesn't exist. Align expectations to reality and appreciate those who love you for who they are. Or find new people. Didn't buy the perfect car? Oh, well, it still gets you where you're going. Define your criteria for the next one and work towards it. Didn't get the perfect house? Probably not. But it's yours and you can fix it. Didn't get that promotion? Don't be so sure it would have worked out the way you think it would have. Vacation wasn't perfect? Are you sure about that? Or were your expectations too high? Point is, relax, enjoy the ride, work to your goals but remember none of it matters if you can't enjoy it along the way at it. Thanks for the awards. Take care of your teeth. This is the only set you're ever going to have and you don't want to neglect them and mess them up like I did. I've got crap tons of fillings which don't last forever and need replacement. A filling isn't as good as the real thing and filled teeth can break, requiring crowns. I have to and it sucks. Brush and floss thoroughly every single day without exception. Hell, get an electric toothbrush. See the dentist regularly. Ditch the sugary drinks. I was a raging alcoholic in my 20s and thought I would never recover from it. I never found a real job using my first degree or my masters. Part of it was because I was always drunk. Part of it was the job market at the time. I went back to school in my 30s and found something I like a whole lot more. Now, I'm married, nearly 10 years sober, and have a great job. My point is, if you end up on the wrong path or don't like where you are, there's always time to turn around and change it. Too many people just assume they're stuck where they are and stuck with the issues they have. When I was 22, an older gentleman asked me how old I was and then told me, Chad 303, when you are twice that age, you'll be twice the man you are today. I almost considered it a slight in that moment, but time has proven him wise. Here I am, twice that age and, in my humble estimation, twice the man than I was then. I believe this chiefly because I have learned that kindness is not a weakness, humility serves you better than pride, and cruelty is a fool's game. Everything you get becomes something you have learned how to be happy having things instead of getting them. Edit, kinda took off. Thanks for all the awards. I appreciate having them. It's not a race. Stop comparing yourself to others. Just because they did things sooner than you, doesn't mean they're happier or better. Try to start good habits. It is a little rough at first, but in a few years it will be second nature. Do this with things like cooking, cleaning, saving money and self-care. It is okay to not like someone. It is also okay to have someone not like you. People are going to not like you for no reason. That is okay. It's a them issue and not a you issue. Don't be an ass to everyone and give them reason to dislike you, but also know that you are under no obligation to put up with someone else's bad friendship. There is no shame in seeing a mental health professional. Don't put yourself in ridiculous amounts of debt trying to portray a certain image. You'll spend your entire life trying to get out of the hole you dug or you'll have to declare bankruptcy. Set aside enough money to cover 3-6 months of expenses for emergencies just like now. Moreover, save now for your retirement years. It doesn't require much and if you have it taken directly from your paycheck you won't be inclined to not pay yourself first. Take care of your body. Exercise to maintain a healthy weight and good cardiovascular health. As you get older, it's much harder to maintain these. Enjoy the days of your youth without going overboard. There is nothing wrong with having a good time, yet if you are always waking up wondering what happened last night, why you can't remember how you spent so much money or you always have a hangover, you should tone it down a bit. Don't take advice or criticism as a personal attack. Most times the people who care about you have observed behavior in you which is off-putting, doesn't reflect who you really are or could be or would make you a more rounded person. This whole thread is wholesome af. I'm 32 but I wish I would have spent more of my 20s listening to advice of slightly older people rather than trying to prove that I could figure it out on my own. Imagine how much energy I could have saved. 
Go have an adventure of a lifetime. Don't put it off. Make plans for your money. Stay out of debt. You don't need that new car, watch, handbag etc. Material items are not worth your sanity. Have a 3-6 month emergency fund. Don't waste time on anyone who disrespects you. Have a backbone but don't be rude. Not everything needs your reaction. Find someone who you can spend endless time with. Talk about ideas not people. Above all do not worry what anyone thinks. I'll be 41 this year. I'm nearly 40 and not very happy with my life. My advice for people in their 20s would be to focus on the important stuff. That's where I failed. Don't put off life. That's where I also failed. I focused on building a solid financial base and saving a ton of money. Here I am at 40 and I'm financially secure probably for life. If I lost my job I could flip burgers and live the same lifestyle I've been living. But I also have no one in life. If I was abducted by aliens today it'd be days or weeks before anyone missed me. No one on the entire planet really knows me. I get gifts from my family for Christmas or my birthday or whatever and it's stuff that relates to things I enjoyed as a small child because that's how they know me. I never pursued any relationships for the past 20 years because I was focused on financial stuff. I can't recall the last time I went on a vacation that wasn't visiting my grandparents. At my age I will probably never be married and will probably never be a father like I want to be. I'd give up all the financial security and career success I have to have someone I love here in quarantine with me. I messed up my life and I know it. Don't ignore relationships. Hey thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed let us know in the comments below. Also subscribe if you want to see more. There are more videos coming. And different types as well.